what are we now? Nine months into the game and I'm just now completing my hero gear? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I am not a completionist, but every once in a while, I get inspired and I just go for it. What's going on guys, Great Disciple, back with another gameplay. Um, in the background, real quick, I started off this game with uh, the dingo and it just was not going well. It wasn't working up against how the enemy was playing, so I got mad and decided to pull out the brekkie and go for it. One of my subscribers, Matt, asked me to get some shoddy gameplay, bud. Here you go. I, I don't usually you know run shotguns in hardcore because they're so frustrating to go up against and the last thing that I want to do is start off in a lobby with shotties and then the entire enemy team pulls theirs out and it just becomes a shotgun fest because that's usually what happens when you start annihilating a lobby with a shotgun everybody pulls them out and then when you die they pick up your shotgun and they start wrecking you with it so I'm always very careful on using them but when I do this is what happens I get a triple kill a frenzy kill a super kill and then two ultra kills I end up killing mighty in Christ who's in the lobby with me and that's what gets me kicked I go from like 35 kills to 87 kills in like three or four minutes it should have been a hundred kill game it really should have but all right so back to the hero gear you know I didn't really care about the hero gear for the longest time because I play hardcore and in hardcore mode you know, the lethal specialist abilities, they're way too risky to use, so I always avoided them. Well, you guys know a couple months back I started playing the core mode. And once I started really getting into the core mode, one of the, the YouTubers that I play with a lot, Epidemic, he had this series going on on his channel where it was his road to hero gear, and I got way into it. And as I'm watching him do it, it's like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go for it. It gives me something to do in the game. And I, you know, I was playing uh, Safeguard, and it is by far the easiest way to get Hero Gear or Safeguard because if you can extend those games into overtime, I mean, getting six kills with the Lethal Specialist is not hard to do. So I set out, you know, I'd already completed nearly every single non lethal specialist just messing around in hardcore except for Rejack and Glitch, but I'd done all the other ones. So I decide I'm going to do all the Lethal Specialists first, and they were so easy. I mean, the purifier was nothing. The ripper was nothing. The tempest is by far the easiest and most lethal specialist ability in the game, in my opinion. Ruins gravity spike is the most noob friendly. The most difficult lethal specialist ability for me was the sparrow, just because you have to cock that arrow back and hold it. And I know the tempest has that delay in the shot, but something about holding that sparrow shot for a long time. And even when it came to the non-lethal. I figured Rejack would be the most difficult one, getting four kills in a game with Rejack. I did that in two games. It was the Vision Pulse, because you had to you had to pulse them and then kill them. So I mean, that's my opinion. Now, out of all the specialists, I've gotten a hundred kills with all of them except for two, and that is the Glitch and Rejack. Glitch, I think I need 15 more, and that's just to get that calling card. And then uh, the Rejack, I think I need 20 more of those, but I just can't be bothered to do it. I don't know why. I just won't won't finish it off. So. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on the hero gear. I think it looks good, better than any of the other outfits that they have. So I pretty much run with it on every single character. So in my opinion, I want you guys to put yours below. My opinion, the most difficult lethal specialist to use was the Sparrow, and the most difficult non-lethal was the Vision Pulse. And I'm a little shocked because I've used it so much. I don't know, you tell me. As always, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and subscribe for more, because I know you want to.